Well, I'm getting uh, ready to uh, start to carve the fan on the drawer that I forgot to do uh, before I assembled the drawer. And um, I found an article in uh, Fine Woodworking Magazine from 2008 that Phil uh, Lowe wrote on how to lay out a fan uh, on a drawer front. And uh, it was a really, really good article. So that's something to uh, review and get started with. So I thought I'd practice a little bit uh, before I got started since the uh, drawer is already assembled and I don't want to mess it up. So I've got about half of it carved here. So I laid it out the same way that I'm going to do the uh, actual one. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. You just got to watch which way the grain is going. So we'll put that aside. And then we'll uh, turn our attention to actually carving the real deal here. Oh, let's get it in focus here. So, what we've got going on here, as the article uh, by Phil Lowe would say, uh, I had uh, it created a semicircle here um, that fit this particular drawer front and we're about an inch and a quarter from the the bottom down here and it leaves about an inch and a quarter on the, on the top so, and it's centered uh, on the drawer so I, do, I don't know exactly uh, what the curve is or the arch and uh, uh, d just done with a with a compass and then a quarter inch from the outer uh, circle then I created an inner circle so that's where the uh, recesses are going to be this is an inch and a half or a three-quarter inch radius uh, circle down here that's going to be the hub and uh, typical uh, there'll be a button here that'll be the drawer pull uh, on the final piece so I've cut a line in here along the bottom which is the base and uh, so that's the the first place to start start the carving is with a straight chisel actually we could use a wider one we could uh, set in here and just follow in the baseline and we're going to go down since the carving is nothing up here and goes down to about a quarter of an inch, uh, a little more than three sixteenths around here. So uh, likewise, when we set in here, we'll set this in much deeper here than we will here. number five yeah that fits there so then we're gonna create our stop cuts on the circle here And these can be deep, deep here because we're going to go down, try to go down a quarter inch around here. Uh, also, since we're going to carve out this dish from here to here, all our lines are going to disappear. But of course, we ran them up through here and they're not going to be erased from there. So we're going to have to put them back on after we uh, carve out the dish. Well, I've started to um, 
create the dish here and this one's going to give me some trouble because it's figured mahogany the other piece was figured too but not right in the middle right here there's a lot of figure and it looks like it goes all the way across so uh, to uh, you can't work at it this way <coughs> it has to be paired or carved this way I'd stand over here and carve it but you wouldn't be able to see but um, there's more of it there so you have to work at an angle <laughs> but you can see I'm starting to shape it so working on this side you know, I'm carving with my right hand and I'm a lefty but we could turn it around and then be left-handed but you still wouldn't be able to see <laughs> so we got to dish this out from about a half inch below the quarter inch line down to a, a quarter inch exposed on this center so you get the idea so well my dish is coming along here and uh, I don't have it down a quarter of an inch but um, I'm kind of liking where it's at more like three sixteenths of an inch and uh, because this is so figured finding the right direction is a little difficult but um, I have been smoothing it out removing some of the bumps so that it's an even dish I think it could be a little deeper so we're gonna work on it a little more before uh, the next thing to do would be put the lines back on it so I've got my dish carved out now and uh, smoothed over <laughs> and I put the lines back on and uh, the lines represent uh, 15 degrees around half a circle so um, the next thing to do is to set in uh, a v with the v-chisel uh, lines where all of these things are so we'll try and keep them as straight as possible and you can do it by hand or with the mallet and I'm just following the line down there I think my V chisel needs sharpening. <sighs> and then I'll go back through it and deepen it. I've been doing since the last video so at last we were setting in these lines here so you saw me uh, using the v-chisel here putting in all the lines so at this point I'm a little less than half done and uh, how did I accomplish all this over here so I guess um, I guess the best way to do it is to show you what I did on this one here which I have just started uh, doing so the grain uh, runs down on this side and up on that side uh, and as you move around of course it, it might change so I'm using a three we got several threes here 
to round it over so we just work our way down to this three this is half inch three and you can see since we're vertical all of this particular cut is pretty much like shaving off end grain which can chip out very easily so that's the straight three we got a, a back bent three here <coughs> with a fishtail on it that kind of works too it's reasonably sharp and occasionally I'm making it a little deeper here with the chisel so that we get more of a rounding as we're trying to make a convex surface on there so when we make it a little deeper that allows us to carve over a little bit and then to get this side we're gonna go up and this is where the back bent really comes in handy you can use a straight chisel here but the back bend makes it like a little easier And we'll keep doing that coming from this side to the middle and then from this side to the middle until you get it rounded over as best you can and then to cut in these at the top here we've got some big fives well you got a three first of all so you you set the three in like so give it some wax and get it down and then taking a five you slope it in this way and you try to get it on a flat slope from this point to there so you have this curve and then it just goes straight down and that's about an eighth of an inch deep there so I've got these two to do uh, yeah these two are about ready and usually what I do is just do them and that kind of marks it saying that's done and then we've got all of these to do over here so we'll keep on trucking it's got to be cleaned up yet uh, but uh, this has to be rounded over here so uh, it'll all use a three I guess and uh, it'll be troublesome because you know you're going cross cross grain here so one way one-handed right-handed and then the other way left-handed And then when you go right across the top, you risk breaking it off. So I use a kind of a, a pairing cut.
but you get the idea I got to get this rounded over here well I finally finished up with the fan here on the front drawer front uh, for the center drawer and I sanded it a little bit and uh, we got to put a, a knob in there but uh, otherwise it's in pretty good shape but you can see the figure that's in this so uh, it should be uh, look pretty nice once it's finished but I just put a little uh, mineral spirit uh, on it to uh, clean it up and to show a little bit of contrast there uh, the way it'll look uh, finished <laughs>